Welcome Trailblazers to today's tutorial where I will be showing you how to add an email service channel with email to case. This feature will enable you to resolve and correspond with customer inquiries via email without users having to create or update cases manually within Salesforce. Note that there are two versions of the email to case. Number one, on-demand email to case, which uses Apex email services from Salesforce and number two plain email to case which uses an agent and your machine. I will demonstrate how to configure the on-demand version which is preferred unless you need to keep email traffic inside your network's firewall and accept emails larger than 25 megabytes. Let's jump right into the configuration in my hands-on org. We are going to click the setup gear icon service setup connect your support email click start you're going to select your email provider and enter your support email address click next and here you can choose to change your sender display name. We'll leave it at Skype Planner Support, a queue that will hold your cases until the support agents get to it. Your case priority, we'll leave it at medium. Case origin email and task status uh, not started. We click next. And here we are going to copy the secure email address and we're gonna insert it as a forwarding address in Gmail settings. To do so, we go to our account, go to settings, seal settings, forwarding tab, and we, we click add a forwarding address. We paste it here, click next, and we're going to click proceed. click OK and go back to the previous screen so I click I'm done setting it up click next and I'm going to click here to open a confirmation pop-up so Gmail agrees to work on my on our behalf so we confirm we close click I'm all done and next so we're going to refresh the forwarding page and a, a forwarded copy of incoming emails within the settings. So we go back to the email, we refresh, and select forward a copy of incoming email. We save the changes and go back to the wizard. Hit I'm all done. Click next. This may take a few seconds to work. And done. Now when customers send emails to the address provided, they automatically route to Salesforce as cases. Let's see this in action by simulating an exchange via email. From a different Gmail account, I will compose an email to our support email address. We add a subject and a message. We send it. The new case should display in Salesforce now. Keep in mind that this may take a few seconds. Here it is. We open it. And notice that the parameters coincide with the configuration and fields were correctly mapped. So Case owner is a product support agent SKU, status is new, priority medium, 
web email and web name were automatically obtained from the email. Subject and description also were correctly mapped. Now let's see how customer responses are automatically associated with the original case, including any attachments the customer sends. Let's pretend the agent replies under the case, come to the email, and reply to the last email. We send it and the customer should receive this, res this response. Here it is. We open it and re reply to it. This response should should have been properly recorded under the emails. Now let's access the email to case settings from setup, search email to case. Hit continue. From this page, you can edit general settings. You can see that routing addresses allow you to add more support email addresses in case your team works with multiple email accounts. To do so, you can follow the same steps with show for the guided setup flow or click new. You can also modify the existing routing addresses. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.